So I decided not to use the HTTP package for making HTTP requests from my Flutter app. And thus I have to search for an alternative way. And I found about this class, HTTP client. To make a GET request using this class, you simply need to create an instance and call this function GET URL. And as usual, you cannot pass the URL, you have to get the URI, so call URI.parse and pass this URI to this function. And this class HTTP client belongs to the Dart IO library, which is an inbuilt component of the Dart language. So you have to import Dart IO at the top of this file, otherwise you won't be able to use this class. Now calling this function only is not enough. It only creates the instance of the class HTTP client request. You can say it prepares the request. It does not make the HTTP request to the server. To make the actual HTTP request, you have to call close on an instance of HTTP client request. So if you take a look at the return type of this function get URL, you will notice that it is future of type HTTP client request. So you can use async await or you can use the callback function then and you will get the instance of HTTP client request. So you have to call HTTP client request dot close. And this will make the actual HTTP request to the server. If you take a look at the return type of this function, you will notice it is future of type HTTP client response. So again, we are using the callback function then and this time we shall get the HTTP client response here and from that we shall get the actual response from the server. And this is a stream, a stream of bytes. So we can use the transformation function of stream and we can use a UTF decoder to convert the stream of bytes to a stream of strings. And then we can use that stream, the actual response to do whatever we want. In this case, I'm simply printing it to the console. Now this is a low level way of making an HTTP request in Dart. The HTTP package provides us some higher level functions, some easy to use implementations abstracting the low level details from us. But does the HTTP package uses the HTTP client class under the hood? After asking a few questions to ChatGPT and exploring the GitHub code, the repository on GitHub, I have found this file, client.dart. Inside this file, I found this import statement. This is a conditional import statement. So on platforms where Dart IO is available, this file is imported. Otherwise, this one. So this file contains one implementation of the client that uses the HTTP client class to make the HTTP request. And in the other one, it uses HTTP request class for making the HTTP requests so on the platforms where dart io is available it is available on android we have already seen that it is also available on ios mac os and windows but dart io is not available on web so on the platforms where dart io is available the http package uses http clients client but on the platform on web where dart io is not available it uses http request so if you go to dartpad and try to import dart.io, you will get an error as invalid import because dart.io is not available on web. So on web, you have to use the class HTTP request. And again, this belongs to an inbuilt library of the Dart language, Dart HTML. So you have to import it at the top and then you have to create an instance of this class. On this instance, you can call the function open to specify the method of the http request get put delete etc and the url to which we are making the http call and then you can call the function send on this instance to make the http request to get the response you can listen to the event on load so request dot on load dot listen and inside this callback you can check the status of the request you can get the actual response in case of a successful http request so here if it is 200, if the status is 200, we are pin printing the response to the console. And if it is not 200, then we are printing the error code. So in this way, you can make an HTTP request in Dart 
on the platforms where Dart IO is not available. So on web and where Dart IO is available, we have already seen how to use the HTTP client class. Now, as I want my app to run on multiple platforms, I must implement the logic to use the appropriate client depending on the platform the app is running on. But the HTTP package does all of this for us. It supports multiple platforms. It provides us easy to use functions. It is composable, meaning if you have some specific need to make changes to the way the HTTP calls are made or handled in the package, you can do that. You can combine the different components, different APIs of this package and create your own logic. And this package is actively maintained. Now if you want to learn more about the HTTP package, if you want to know how to make the different HTTP request using the HTTP package, you can watch my other videos. I'll put the links in the description in and in other places. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel.